The economy is looking pretty bad lately, which should mean that the cost of food is going down. However, we're also in the middle of a food shortage, which means you can find DVDs for cheaper than you can find a sandwich. Before you try making a romantic comedy hoagie, try these tips for keeping yourself and your family healthy. A gym membership is probably out of the question. Check your community listings for free activities, or turn off your TVs and computers long enough to get active with your family. Some options for exercise include pushing your dad's car, running from the cops, throwing rocks at people more fortunate than you, or giving pony rides to the handicapped. The cost of fruits and veggies continues to rise with fats and sugars staying cheap. Buy fresh things on sale in large quantities and steam and freeze them. It's your way of sticking it to the man. Stores keep more expensive and less healthy items at eye level. Get a little bit more exercise by bending down to see what else they have to offer. When I can't afford to go shopping, I just use what's already in the pantry. Let's see what we got here. Oh, look at this. We got some rice. That's great. Some diced tomatoes. Delicious. Throw that in there. Maybe some beans. Look at here, we've got some onions, some fresh tomatoes, it's great. We'll throw all this in the crock pot, you just wait about 45 minutes, and then bam, deliciousness. Mmm, smell that goodness. Dinner for four, ready Who to go. Who are you, and what are you doing in my house? Cooking dinner. Soda is a huge contributor to childhood obesity. If your child protests to drinking water, try using frozen fruit as ice cubes to church it up a bit. Parents, you need to eat well too. Don't keep junk food around the house. If you really need a treat, join AA, where they often have cookies. WIC, or Women, Infants, and Children, is available to a lot more people than use it. It's a great program because the stamps are specific to the items needed for a healthy diet. Food stamps, once obnoxiously conspicuous to use, now come in the form of a credit card, because for some reason it looks much cooler to use a credit card. Don't let yourself fall into the feast or famine mentality, where you spend all your food stamp money at the beginning of the month because you feel like you've restricted yourself and buy a bunch of treats. Spread that money out and reward yourself at the end of the month. So Nicole, how did you treat yourself um, with all the food stamps you saved over the month? Well, usually at that point I would buy organic fruits and vegetables or I would throw a dinner party, call up a few friends, and especially with young children. It's really important to be able to bring people over and have a good time. So that's how I would treat myself. Fascinating. I'm just going to put all mine on Black 23. You can't gamble with food stamps. Wild turkey? No booze. Crane game? Crane game's out. You, Nicole. That's out too. If you feel bad about going to the local food pantry, you could try volunteering some time there once a month packing bags, or wear a disguise when you go. I got my training painting faces at county fairs. A lot of people call me a carny, but I am a professional makeup artist. Oh yeah, I got lots of clients. People going to the blood bank, methadone clinic, family court. No one is going to recognize you at the food bank. Do I have any other options? Um, it's either kitty cat, Spider-Man, or I could cut your face. You're probably busy with all of this supporting your family, but fast food is not the best option for your pocketbook or your thighs. What are you doing, Mom? Oh, <laughs> Mama didn't forget your birthday. I'm taking you out to dollar menus. Mom, we can't be eating fast food all the time. It's just not healthy. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you go to public school. What do you know about nutrition? <laughs> Plan your meals in advance, taking into account the nights you're going to be too busy or tired to cook. Use this menu to create your shopping list and then hit the store on double coupon days. To make cooking easier, you can buy a crock pot, crock pot, crock pot, crock pot. pre make most of your meals, and teach your kids to help out in the kitchen. If they can master a video game, they can reheat a casserole. If you're really running low on food, you could always send your kids over to a friend's house right around mealtime. So you're going to the Andersons for dinner? Yeah, Mom. You know the drill. If these aren't filled with leftovers, I'll never tell you who your real dad is. What about dessert? Love you, mean it. We know the transition can be hard, but if you don't take care of your kids now, who's going to take care of you when you get old? Actually, they'll probably never take care of you when you get old, but they'll look good not doing it. <laughs>